Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford, Solana, Kansas. Your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2023 Ford F-150 Lightning. We're going to talk about the XLT trim in this video. So this is what we call our complete guide video. We're going to cover all the standard equipment plus the different packages. There's a, an equipment group that's available in the XLT trim. We'll talk about all that plus the optional equipment in this video. So if you like videos like this, getting the information uh, from Ford, then you might like our YouTube channel. Hit the red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. That way you can stay notified next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. Now, again, as I mentioned, we're going to complete guide, so this might be a little lengthy video. So feel free to use the timestamps down below uh, to move around in the video all you need to to come back to some things and if you want to revisit some some of the different features. So feel free to do that. If you're watching this on, a, on an iPhone or a tablet or something, you're going to use those chapters down below when you open up the description um, arrow down there. So feel free to do that. Also, uh, of course, on most of you, uh, hopefully by now, you do have a reservation already. It was a little confusing by Ford when they put out the message that the 23 order banks were opened up. It made it sound like you can go into your dealership and order these vehicles, but you cannot. Basically, at this point in time, uh, invitations are going to be sent out to people that have a reservation currently. So if you don't have a reservation, you're going to have to wait for a reservation. Um, but hopefully this, uh, the video helps you out. So uh, this is really helping people out that have a reservation. And they're ready to get that invite from Ford so that when they get that invite, they know exactly how they want to order their vehicle. And if the XLT trim is going to work for them or if they need to maybe even look at the Pro or the Lariat trim, which we'll be doing Lariat and Platinum after these videos. The Pro video is already out. You can check that out on our YouTube channel as well. So again, thanks for uh, watching along, and we're going to go ahead and dive in, talk about the mechanical features first. All right, so now we're going to start with this, and luckily with this model, unlike some of the other videos that I do, um, the build and price is on the line and is up and running and ready to go already for the 23 model year configuration. So we're going to actually go on over here to the channel here. There we go. Popped in, took it delayed. Now, if we go up to Ford.com, we can look this up, and I like to go through Electrified because uh, then the Lightning's right there. Build and price still says 22, but when you click on it, it is pulling up 2023 information. Uh, you will see starting prices there, 59,474. And uh, so we can just go around here if we want the standard range or extended. We're going to go standard range because um, when you go extended, it automatically adds a package. And we actually want to go over that package first before we uh, just click into that right there. So there we go. There's what it looks like. Now we're going to talk about mechanical features first. I am going to go over here to the powertrains. And so we can go down and kind of see a little bit of this, why I ramble on about the, some of this information. So for first... This is based off the uh, same frame as the F-150 gas version. So it is a fully boxed steel frame with the cross members in there. It does have 98 kilowatt uh, per hour usable capacity standard range high voltage battery that's uh, put right in there in between those frame rails. So that way it doesn't take away from any of your uh, cargo room or any of your cab space or anything like that. And even gives you some usable front storage we'll talk about in a little bit. It does have dual motors. You can see in that image, there's a motor at each of those axles. So dual motors for this. It is standard 4x4 with these. And it will have a rear e-locking axle. Uh, so I actually have, have an, a Lightning now. Uh, it works pretty well. I accidentally put it in that mode, and it works really well and, and allows for that uh, to be able to lock those axles. You do have electric uh, engine uh, cooling fans. So standard range will have a set of cooling fans to keep the motors and the battery cooled off uh, there's a way to upgrade that later we'll talk about it when we get to optional equipment you have electric parking brake with auto hold auto hold means if you come up to stoplight stop sign and you want to press the brake you can hit the auto hold and it'll hold the brake so that way uh, you can let go of the brake which is really nice it also comes in handy for something we're going to talk about a little bit later it does have the heavy duty dual front shocks and you have front and rear coil springs on this so it does have independent rear suspension as well as independent front suspension front and rear stabilizer bar as well and you have power steering with the e-pass electric power assist steering there you will get selectable drive modes even with this here you have a normal you have a sport mode tow haul and an off-road mode and you will for charging you will have a uh, dual uh, a combo connector system charge port uh, with where you can plug in a one uh, one four one twenty volt sorry 240 as well as the dc fast chargers those uh, those uh, level three chargers 
And just to kind of finish this off, you will have one pedal driving capabilities with this. So I love this. I use this all the time. One pedal driving means you don't have to hit that brake unless you're in that situation where you have to stop quickly. Uh, but otherwise you can just, as you accelerate, uh, start letting off of the gas, it's gonna start uh, applying that brake and then the regenerative braking as well, which uh, I think I'll talk more about that when we get to the side of the vehicle when we talk about the brakes and such. Uh, but those are all your mechanical features on the vehicle. Now let's talk about some safety features and all, uh, all these safety features, are the same safety features as the, the pro version. So if you didn't watch that video, probably could pass uh, over this part of the video. It is the same uh, feature. So we'll talk first about that Copilot 360 2.0 suite of features that you get. Um, was a little confusing on the pro version when you, uh, I know when you check over and try to check the tow tech package, it takes away, it mentions it takes away the 2.0. That's just a glitch in the system. You do not lose any of these features. You're going to get these plus more if you decide to go up on some other equipment. So first with this, you're going to get the pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking, includes pedestrian detection, uh, forward collision warning, and dynamic brake support. So if the car in front of you is going much slower than you, and you're not stopping, it warns you, it lets you know, puts a little message on the dash that you need to stop, a series of tones that you need to stop and preload those brakes for you. So when you're ready to hit those brakes, it's gonna brake even faster for you and stop before you hit them, hopefully. <laughs> also does get your bliss with cross Chef alert. That's your blind spot information system. So it's gonna work. If there's someone in your blind spot, it's gonna put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. If you're backing up, someone's gonna cross your path behind you. It's gonna use those same sensors to let you know. Puts a message on the dash, a series of tones that you shouldn't back up. And even on the screen shows you which way they're coming from, whether they come from left or the right with arrows at the bottom of the screen, which is really cool. Uh, this also does have your lane keeping system. It includes your lane keeping aid system, alert system, and driver alert. So what driver alert's gonna do for you is if you take your hands off the steering wheel too often, it alerts you and lets you know that you need to uh, put your hands back on the steering wheel. Uh, also, you do have the lane keeping uh, uh, alert system, which means if you leave your lane, it's going to alert you by vibrating the stream will let you know you've left your lane. The aid system will actually get over to the line and bring you and keep you within your lane. Now, you can use those together, the aid and alert together. And what that's going to do is when you go over to the line, it's going to bring you back in, but it will vibrate that steering wheel and let you know you did get close to that line. Also, you do have, as you're backing up, you will have a rear view camera, so you can be able to see as, uh, as you're backing up. You're also going to get reverse sensing system, so you're going to get alerted if you get too close to anything. And you're going to have reverse brake assist, which takes it a step further than where if you're not paying attention, you're backing up. Even if you get the alerts and the sensors, it's going to break the vehicle so that you don't hit somebody or hit a bike or something like that when you're backing out of those driveways. Speaking of braking, you do have post-collision braking as well on this. So if you get in an accident, you know, and you maybe you're unconscious and aren't able to put it in park, or you forget to put it in park in those types of situations, you're rushed, panicked, and scared, and nervous, and everything, it's going to break the vehicle so you don't have a, a more severe accident. And the last feature is part of the Copilot 360 2.0 features is the auto high beam. Auto high beam, uh, when you're driving along, if it just turns those high beams on, if it's dark enough outside, if someone approaches you, uh, or you're in a city of lights, it's going to shut those off for you. Now, the auto high beams, as well as your a lot of those other safety features, can be activated and deactivated up to your preference if you want those activated or not. So some of these, and you might look at these and go, well, I don't want that or that or that. Well, you can deactivate a lot of these features uh, if you don't like those features and don't want to use them, but you like the other features, which a lot of them are great, some great safety features, you still can use those. Uh, this also does have advanced track with roll stability control. The goal behind that is to keep you on your intended path. Uses a series of brakes and acceleration uh, and, and torque around those different four wheels uh, to keep you going on your intended path. If you go into the curve too fast, maybe a slick driving day out, something like that. Also does have curve control to help with that as well uh, to when you're going into those different curves. Also, you do get SOS post-crash alert system, honks the horns, flashes lights if you're in an accident, lets people know you come to help you out. And you do get 911 assist. So if you have your Bluetooth enabled phone connected to the vehicle, It'll help call 911 directly um, if you're not able to. So that comes in real handy. A couple other last features uh, for safety. Uh, when you're back in the vehicle, because this is an electric vehicle, uh, people won't be able to hear it. It's quiet. Um, they won't be able to know. They might walk behind you. Uh, so it does have the audible vehicle alert system that's going to little bit little beeps, lets people know that the vehicle is moving. So that's a real nice uh, 
convenient feature here. Uh, you also get a lot of people in your park and the, the parking lots looking at you too, because <laughs> I hear it. Uh, and you also do get perimeter alarm. So the perimeter alarm uses intrusion sensors and inclination sensors to alert you if someone's trying to break in your vehicle or take your wheels. So what it's going to do is if you have the vehicle locked, there's no motion inside when you leave the vehicle, it's going to set that perimeter alarm. And if somebody tries to break the glass, get inside, maybe unlock it, it's going to see, it's going to sense intrusion there and it's going to set the alarm off. Also, if your vehicle is parked and somebody tries to take your wheels and they try to use a jack to jack it up, it's going to sense that it's been jacked up and it's uh, off for that inclination since you since you uh, you locked the vehicle up. It's going to do the same thing there, honk the horns, flash the lights as well. So those are all of our safety features. So let's dive in, talk about the exterior styling of this vehicle. All right, now we're going to go ahead and start talking about the styling. And uh, usually I forget the color part of this. So we're going to talk about this first here. So here are your color choices for the XLT trim. You do have the Agate Black is available. And a lot of these are the same colors as last year. A couple have been deleted. You also have Antimatter Blue Metallic that's available. You also do have Carbonized Gray available. Iconic Silver. Oxford White. Um, this is one of the cost colors. That is the uh, $500 for the Rapid Red Metallic Tinted Clear Coat. You also have Stone Gray available. And new colors here, you have Avalanche available. And you have the Azure Gray Metallic Tri Coat. That is also a cost color there if you go with that color. So we'll leave it on this color here. As we talk about the uh, side of the vehicle, we're just going to go down here to exterior real quick. Um, actually, we didn't need to do that necessarily, but we can see it right here. So we're going to actually enlarge this because there's the front. There you go. So up here, you will have the uh, open the front area, that, that power uh, front trunk area. So a power up and power down front hood. So you can use that with a remote. There's a button inside the vehicle. You can even use, I believe, a button on the app too, if you want to. So plenty of ways to be able to use that. That uh, that will open up for you. Uh, the grill and everything opens up, gives you a large front area, 400 liters of cargo and 400 pounds of cargo limit in there. So real nice. It has tie downs inside, four tie downs, as well as some other little hooks as well that flip down if you want to add some other stuff in there. You will also get 2.4 kilowatts of pro power on board with four outlets, four 120 volt outlets, two USB ports, a USB type A and type um, C. And that front area has to be turned on. So you use your pro power on board on your screen to activate that and give you that power up in the front. So pretty cool on how that all works up there. Notice the grill look. You do have a geometric gray ion satin uh, metallic grill up there. So it looks real uh, sharp on the front. You also have front signature lighting. So you do upgrade it with this here. Uh, so the front uh, LED right here, that is, you do not get that on the pro version. When you go to XLT, you gain that accent there. Plus the LED signature lighting that comes around. You also get body colored bumpers uh, right here as well. And you're going to get front sensing system. You kind of see those sensors on the bumpers right there. So you'll have front sensing system as well. So as you pull up, it's going to alert you. 360 degree camera. So you have the camera under here, under each of these mirrors in the back to be able to see completely around you. That is not standard equipment on the pro version. So keep that in mind, but it is on this one. And you do have plaque tow hooks up here in the front as well. And then you, for your headlights here, you will have LED projector automatic headlights. Automatic means it come on automatic when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light, when you have the headlight set in the auto setting. And you get dynamic bending headlights. So basically, I always like to tell people, it, it lights up your intended path. So if you're turning, it's going to light up where you're turning to and looking to go to. Also, you have daytime running lights as well. So you can have those configured on if you want to, to be lit up uh, during the daytime if you'd like. So those are all your front features. Let's move uh, this around to the side over here. All right, so moving around to the side over here, uh, talking about the wheels here, you do have 18 inch machined uh, wheels with the black high gloss painted pockets. You can see what those look like. So every trim has its own dedicated wheel. This is a dedicated wheel for the uh, for the XLT trim. Uh, the XLT will come with all train tires as uh, standard equipment there. Tire pressure monitor system, of course, for all four of those tires, four wheel disc brakes with ABS, and you get the regenerative braking. So that regenerative braking as you're braking helps regenerate some of the power for the batteries. Uh, of course, 
you can't gain it all that's why you have to plug it in but it does help extend the the distance you can go by doing a good job of using the regenerative braking uh, so your uh, door handles and your mirror caps are going to be that the uh, your black your molded in black is what they call that they take the color they put it in the mold when they make it so the mirror caps as well as the door handles are going to be that material on the xlt trim you will have power heated mirrors I also get turn signal over here on the side you have manual fold mirrors um, and then you also get the led spotlights over here so these uh, turn signals uh, double as led spotlights there too uh, so it comes in real handy and then those mirrors underneath right there too uh, it does have security uh, this uh, keypad on the door you can see it there so uh, that's just a nice little code that you can go ahead and program if you want to unlock the vehicle without having the keys you can do that uh, or if you want to leave the keys inside either way so you're going to have that capability of course you will have keyless entry too with a flip key uh, as well and then the running boards so you do not see the running boards on the pro version but they are standard on the xlt so you're going to get these uh, uh carbon black fixed extended uh with enhanced lighting so you have lights on the rear of those uh those running boards uh which really helps out for your uh, zone lighting and such we're going to talk about here in just a little bit so moving to the rear of the vehicle, that uh, you will uh, kind of move that image around for you. You can see that. So you do get the lightning on the back on the side of the bed. I'm not listed on the order guide, but of course it will, you will have that. Here in the back of the cab, you're going to have the center high mounted stoplight. Uh, that is LED, so which is a little bit brighter for you. You also see with the 360 camera, you'll have a camera on the back of there too, so you can see into the bed as well. It does have a fixed rear glass with privacy glass and rear defrost back here. So you'll have that. You'll also have a the tailgate handle will be black as well, just like your door handles will be. Same material there. Bumpers will be body colored. You'll have the reverse sensing, as we already talked about, as part of the Copilot 360 2.0 features. Uh, so you'll have that there too. And then you'll also have a class 4 receiver hitch uh, with what the wiring back there. It actually doesn't mention the wiring. Trailer Sway Control mentions. Uh, so it will have at least a four pin wiring, but I believe it has a seven pin wiring as well there. And you'll have the smart trailer tow connector too that allows you to build a backup and connect your hitch in there real nice and easy for you. Uh, so that means it, it allows you to be able to use this camera to, to go right down onto your hitch to be able to help connect your trailer. Uh, it does have an under, uh, under the frame spare tire. So it's an 18 inch aluminum spare tire uh under there so you use this little there's a spot right here where you would unlock that use your jack which is located behind the passenger seat um passenger side rear seat uh, is where that jack is going to be you're going to use that to lower that tire down for you and to be able to change that flat tire with the jack uh, you also get tailgate lock with the keyless entry so to lock with your uh, using that you'll get tailgate lift assist as well so that way it makes it a little bit easier to, to to lift that to tailgate up and you're going to get to be able to remove the tailgate removable tailgate tailgate as well now inside the bed which you can't see here you will have the four pickup box tie down hooks and you're going to get the box link system with the four lockable cleats with the xlt trim that is a, an upgrade i believe when you go up to this and you're going to get some uh, zone lighting in the back it'll go along with your cab so you'll get two outlets so 120 volt outlets in the back of the the uh, bed back there to be able to power some things in there not quite as many as you have in the front area but there isn't a possibility to upgrade that and we'll talk about that in a little bit and then zone lighting is mentioned so that looked like that's uh i didn't notice that from last year's order guide but it's showing this year in fact it was listed under the standard equipment for the base the pro version as well but I believe you have to have these mirrors uh, to be able to get the zone lighting because it has the LED lights, which it doesn't mention security approach lamps, but you would need those lights back here to be able to light up all around the vehicle. You can use, use your app to do that or the screen to be able to light up around your vehicle. So real nice with all those features there. Now let's move inside and talk about some interior features. Okay, now we're moving to the interior of the vehicle and uh, we'll kind of use some of these images up here uh, to kind of show you and highlight these. So we'll start here because I'm going to talk about the airbags first. You have a driver and front passenger front airbags. Deploys a different size airbag, depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. And you have a front driver and front passenger side impact airbags. Those will deploy out for those side collisions to protect the occupants up there. Safety canopy airbags as well that deploy down protect in, with a rollover uh, sensor. So if you roll over the vehicle, it uh, deploys those down. So it helps from, you know, that breaking glass coming in and hitting somebody and hurting somebody that way. Now with these, you will get carpeted flooring with carpeted mats. You can kind of see it. It's showing carpet mats on the back. So I assume uh, it does have, yep, 
uh, front and rear. It doesn't mention it on the order guide, but it does say carpeted mats. Uh, you will get front and rear scuff plates to help when getting in the vehicle. Illuminated entry means it illuminates the, you know, the footwells and such and the lights up here and everything and in the back. So that way when you get in, you can see when you're getting in the vehicle. Uh, you will have the medium dark slate gray cloth seats. Like you're seeing here, you will get front bucket seats with a flow through console. Only configuration on the lightning. Uh, you will have gauge bolsters as well. So a little bit different color there, but real nice looking seat there. So cloth seats for the XLT trim and the front bucket seats. You will get an eight-way power driver seat uh, with power lumbar and a two-way manual passenger seat. You can see that there with manual lumbar there as well. Your heated seats for the front seats, the so driver and front passenger will be heated. Now, it actually shows on the order guide as an upgrade when you go to XLT, but also showing as a standard equipment on the Pro. So I'm not sure if the Pro is gonna get it, but we know the XLT trim will get the front heated seats here. You also get the interior work surface as well. Um, so that's an, it just allows you to be able to, to lower that shifter down and then you can take that uh, console and you can lay it flat. So if you need to work on it, put your tablet, whatever, if you're stopped, I uh, need to work, you can do that right there. The rear seat will 60-40 split bench seat so that seat can cushion can come up and it kind of allows you to do that with a, just a 40% side or the 60% side. You also get under the seat storage as well. And that's a little bit of a little storage area. So there is a lockable one that's different, but this is a little storage area underneath uh, that allows for about that much storage underneath the seat from the back uh, that you, when you lift it up, you can get access to that. Power windows. Uh, let me go to this other view here. There we go. We have power windows with one touch up and down for the front windows, the driver and front passenger window. You also have power locks with auto, auto lock, uh, which means that when you start moving, it's going to lock it up. And that is also a feature you can activate and deactivate in your lock section. Uh, and you do get power adjustable pedals. Allows you to, for these pedals to be moved forward and back for you there. You have a 12-inch digital display for the productivity screen. I love that. Uh, that left side has a lot of information on that dial about how much you know energy you have in your battery, uh, what percentage you have, and also when you're re regenerating your battery, it shows you that too. Uh, so really cool on how that looks uh, right there in your speedometers over there on the right. And then you can configure that middle part to several different things uh, in there as well. So I love that. You get compass display in there. You have outside temperature display, all those features right there. Your steering wheel, black leather wrap steering wheel, which I love a leather, leather wrap steering wheel. So that's going to be standard on these. You also get a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So you have a lever underneath to go up and down, forward and back so you can get it just right. Also come with cruise control. That'll be, should be on the left side of the steering wheel over here with some buttons to below for volume controls and such. And then on the right side, those top buttons will control your productivity screen, while the, the bottom ones will control some of your presettings and such uh, for your audio right there too. And then you do get dual zone climate control. So the driver and front passenger have two different temperatures. Uh, comes in real handy when sun's coming in from one side or another. Up on the mirror, you have auto dimming rear view mirror. So you don't have a lever to worry about. So somebody comes up behind you with those bright lights. It's going to dim the mirror and uh, let you and just dims that mirror for you so you don't get blinded by those. Now, let's talk about some of the uh, outlets in here. So we have two outlets. You can see over here, there's an outlet on this side over here. I believe there's also an outlet on the back side of the console uh, for those in the back. And then you have six USB ports. So I uh, believe you have that's a power point right up there on the console. Down in the media hub, you'll have two USB ports. There'll be two on the back of the console and two inside the console too. So plenty of ways to power different devices here. Now let's talk about your audio controls. You will get FM stereo, no AM stereo this year with six speakers. You get Sirius XM satellite radio with the new 360L radio, which is real nice. And you get the Sync 4 system with the enhanced voice recognition system, conversational uh, voice commands like you'd normally see with Alexa, Google Home, which is what I have, that kind of stuff. 12-inch LCD touchscreen there. You have information on demand, which means that that screen kind of gets split right about there where you can have, uh, you can enlarge it like they're showing on the screen with the navigation all the way across. But if you have it in a shorter screen, it kind of brings it down to about, almost about what an 8-inch touchscreen would be. And then you have information over here. It could be radio, whatever. And then you can just swipe it over. So they say information on demand allows you to be able to swipe that information. And they flip spaces, uh, spots there, So which is really cool. You can also press the buttons down below. Not buttons, but the touchscreen apps down below as well. 
Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Digital Owner's Manual, built-in, connected built-in navigation that gives you the three-year trial uh, for free. Uh, so uh, you're going to get navigation, built-in navigation for the first three years. And then 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot allows you to uh, make your vehicle a hotspot. So if other people don't have free Wi-Fi or unlimited data, then they can connect to your vehicle and your vehicle becomes that. You do have to pay a subscription for that. A lot of people don't sign up for it. I know I haven't signed up for it, um, but I have unlimited data for all my homes, uh, my all my phones within my home. Now, also, last thing I want to talk about is the Ford Pass Connect. That allows you to stay connected to the vehicle using the Ford Pass app. You download the app, connect your vehicle, you confirm it, then you can remote start the vehicle from anywhere, remote lock, unlock it, schedule remote start times, locate your vehicle. You can even, um, you know, do all kinds of, well, with the electric vehicle, you can also power your trip and see that on there. You can see the state of charge on your on your vehicle. You can do the zone, the zone lighting on your vehicle. You can do all those features schedule uh, charge uh, your vehicle so if you always plug your vehicle at night you can set a a destination or a a um when you're going to leave i can't remember the departure time <laughs> there it is uh when you're going to leave and it'll start your vehicle up while it's plugged in so you're not using any of your battery to start it up and get it ready to go for you so those are all your standard features um on the the xlt trim now let's talk about some different uh an equipment group that you might think about so basically everything we've talked about so far is what they consider the 311a equipment group which is all the standard equipment but we'll talk about the high package that 312a next so now let's talk about this uh 312a package and uh so it is listed right here um as uh, uh, shown here it's a nine thousand dollar package for you now you can add this 312a without getting extended range so if you want the features but don't want the extended range you can do that but if you want the extended range you are required to get this package to get the extended range so if you want everything we've talked about and said i just want extended range it's not just a ten thousand dollar ad you actually have to add that package so it's really a nineteen thousand dollar ad but you get all this equipment we're going to talk about next in this package in fact let's click on the little i there we go. There it shows you what we get with this package. So it's included. You get the 20 inch and alloy dark carbonized gray wheel with a 20 inch all season tire. So it's going to take it down to the all season tire. In fact, let's go ahead and add this package. Um, and so you can see what that looks like. So it does change that wheel. That is the same wheel you see on the Lariat trim. Um, know that because that's what I have. And uh, we're going to cover that next in the, uh, when we talk about this. Okay. And then you're going to also for your uh, seat actually talks about you get the, uh, uh, we'll talk about this uh, package here in just a little bit. Uh, we're going to pass over that for right now, but you will get the Copilot 360 Assist 2.0 package. Uh, you will get the 9.6 kilowatt of Pro Power on board. That gives you the uh, the 7.2 kilowatt of Pro Power on board in the bed. So that way it divides out. So you have uh, you'll be able to use 2.4 for the front area as well as in your cab, and then 7.2 for your bed, including a 12 240 volt outlet four uh, 110 or 120 volt outlets in there as well in the bed area so that's uh, really upgrades that with this package you also get intelligent access with approach detection so that means as you're approaching the vehicle it's going to detect that it's going to turn on those lights for you and once you put your hands in the door handle it's going to automatically unlock the vehicle and allow you to lock it by pressing the knobs on the outside of the doors so you don't have to get the keys out to get in or out or to start it because it'll have push button start too you're going to get heated steering wheel with this package so i'm going to upgrade and give the heated steering wheel i'm actually going to mark these off because they're in different order than on my sheet i want to make sure i cover everything on here so you're going to get that as well uh, so heated steering wheel comes in real handy in the winter time it'll be included in your remote start features and settings uh, for you so you'll have that you also have the 10-way power adjustable driver seat so it upgrades it from a sixth to a 10-way for your uh, power driver seat does not upgrade the passenger seat letting you know that led box lighting so you get that box lighting inside the bed as well as the zone lighting on the outside so led box lighting there's two lights in the corner that's going to light up that uh, for the back of it you're going to get power tailgate so um, that's going to allow you to be able to power that down i believe the power tailgate is powering down not up i think you have to go up to lariat trim to get that uh, so power tailgate uh, power release you just power that down and release it does say power tailgate not power release um, so I might need to double check and see, but you might, it might also power it up into place as well. Uh, tailgate step includes the tailgate work surface. So that's going to allow you to be able to kick that tailgate step out so you can get e into the bed a little bit easier. And you have a work surface on top 
that allows you to be able to, to work on it uh, and protect it. it has a tape measure on it and everything else uh, which is really cool for that so you're going to get that as well something that's not mentioned on there um, that is part of this a uh, couple of different other features it's not listed that's also included and one of them is your body color door handles and tailgate handles so basically uh, you go to this package it pretty much upgrades you to the lariat trim equipment for the most part uh, getting most of those uh, appearance look to it, getting the wheels, the body color door handles. Uh, there's one thing missing from the back of it that you do not get. Uh, you also get rain sensing wipers too. That just allows you when you have an intermittent settings, it starts to rain, it's just going to turn the wipers on for you. Rain's harder, it's going to wipe faster. So you don't have to do anything on your end. Now let's talk about the package we, over, we went past, and that is the Copilot 360 Assist 2.0 package. That is included in this pack, in this equipment group. Only way to get this package is with this equipment group. So you cannot get this package separate. So this is gonna where you're gonna get your intelligent adaptive cruise control uh, with then it's the uh, with the 2.0 version. So you get stop and go, lane centering, speed sign recognition, uh, and your predictive speed assist as well. So this is a really cool system. So you have basically three different versions of cruise. You have your traditional cruise control like you normally use it. Um, where you have to do everything and then you have the adaptive cruise control which it can it takes care of that if you come up behind somebody it slows you down to go their speed even bring you to complete stop at the vehicle in front of you stops you don't have to press your brake when they start going you start going as well um, and then with the intelligent part of that is also predicting the speed signs um, so when the speed sign changes, it'll slow you down. So if you're going 70, you have your cruise set at 70 and the speed zone changes to 65, it's going to slow you down to go 65. Now you can actually adjust a tolerance there. Uh, so some, if some people are like, oh, I don't like that. Cause I like to go, you know, seven, seven over or something. You can adjust a tolerance of seven over. And then when it goes, it slows down, it'll go to 72 instead of 65. So that's how that one, that'll work there. You also, as part of this package, get the evasive steering assist is included. Uh, so if you need, you know, you can't stop and you need a turn, it's going to help in, the, in uh, steering away as well as the intersection assist too. So if you come up to an intersection, you're turning, you're not paying attention. There's a car coming, it'll break you so that you don't go over in front of them and have that, that collision uh, there at the intersection. So uh, a lot of features included in that uh, Copilot 360 Assist 2.0. Uh, that's, uh, I think, is a great package in itself, uh, but that's also including all these other features too within this package. So this equipment group, again, does not require to go up to the extended range battery. Uh, it's $9,000 for all that equipment, uh, but you do have to have this to get the extended range battery. So let's talk about the extended range battery for a second. Extended range battery is available on the XLT trim. And the way you can get to that is you have to, you go back here um, to the to the beginning. And if you're in one of these here, actually I didn't show that feature, but if you're in here, you just hit the models and it backs you out to the trims. Uh, from here, you can, we talked about the standard range, but if we click on the extended range, and I'm actually, you might notice it jumps up quite a bit. It goes, uh, what is that? about twenty thousand dollars because you're getting you're adding that nine thousand and the ten thousand for the battery so uh, you're adding both of those and probably even more than that now with the new price increases but start your build at that point you're starting at eighty thousand nine seventy four uh, and you're going in here and then you have the extended range and you'll notice that package when you go down here now it's 312a so that's included with the extended range here and required so you you'll notice the change in the body color door handles and the wheels like we mentioned and everything like that uh, with this package uh, as well so that's uh, pretty cool and how that all works so you'll have all that now there are a couple other packages that are available for you so we're going to talk about those and they are available whether you have the 311a or the 312a both uh, both of them there are available and first one is this tow tech package so it's a 1395 package click on it we'll get a little more information there so with this package here uh, you are gonna we already get the 360 degree camera which is standard on xlt trim uh, that's included with this uh, tow tech package uh, but you also get the front sensing system also already standard on the xlt trim so you'll notice this package is actually cheaper on the xlt than what we talked about on the pro i think the pro version it's like a 1900 dollars package but on this one it's 13 because you already get the 360 camera and the front sensing system but you are going to get the pro trailer backup assist he's actually using that dial in the image right there you just control the trailer and it's the vehicle steers itself in a sense and then down below that you have the uh the integrated the trailer brake controller down there too that's showing on there as well um and right there and then you do have the pro uh the pro trailer hitch assist and this is new for this year and uh so you'll have that and it'll be able to help you 
hook up that uh, in the your your hitch your trailer and everything you also get trailer reversion reverse guidance with this that allows you to be able to see along your trailer so as you're turning and sometimes maybe hard to see you know where it is on the other side over there you can actually use a trailer reverse guidance to help you out and use those cameras with that vehicle now you also see in here where it says on the onboard scales and smart hitch removal is required so those were included in this package normally but right now you are required to add this onboard scales with smart hitch removal option which is option 63x to be able to add this package so if i try to add it um it might tell me to add that other it, it didn't ask me to add it but you'll have to add that removal and i don't know if it's showing as an option down here or not um maybe maybe not it's not showing in here you'll have to add that with your dealer for that right now so at some point they may make it to where they can have microchips and they don't have an issue with it some of the early ones were built with that on there but right now um, you are required to add that on there if you want to get it built now you do have this max trailer tow package as well also available on the 311a or 312a does not require the extended range battery or anything uh, this gives you a max amount of towing so it does upgrade your towing capacity um, basically what it's going to do is it's going to double the amount of cooling fans you have for your motor and your battery, uh, which is really nice. So again, that, that's going to uh, upgrade it. So your uh, standard towing capacity with the standard range would be 5,000 pounds. When you add this package to that, it's 7,500 pounds. If you have the extended range, your, your towing capacity is 7,500 pounds. When you add this package, you go to 10,000 pounds. So hopefully that helps out uh, letting you know exactly how that all works between those two and uh, so those are the two packages that are available uh, now let's get around and talking about some standalone options now so now let's talk about some standalone options we'll we'll first cover the exterior and then the interior options and go through this and uh, so i will cover this there's quite a few options here that are available on the xlt trim we didn't see some of these on the pro version so we'll kind of break some of these out and a lot of these options are uh, available either by their freestanding option factory installed option that you have to get from the factory we'll talk about which ones those are and some of these are dealer installed options and some are, are listed as accessories uh, from ford which the accessories are actually put in the vehicle when it's shipped but the di uh, the dealer installed options we call them dios they're actually shipped to the dealership ahead of time and the dealership would install those and some of those are available afterwards through ford accessories as well if you want to install them yourself or have the dealership do that and and some of them I'll, I'll let you know if i've seen in the past if the, any of these will hold up your builds just to kind of let you know uh you know on the lightning don't know if that's going to make a difference but I, I left some things off of mine and mine got scheduled pretty quick so uh so let's uh look and see how these uh these go now first thing i want to talk about is not listed anywhere on the order guide and that is this pro mobile power cord is not standard equipment anymore this year that is now an optional equipment so you will need to it's a 500 dollars option if you want it uh, it is up here. It actually, it actually checked. Not sure why it's checked, but it is showing that it's not included anymore. In fact, it's mentioned in here that it's, um, it's. Uh, you can actually delete that. Well, actually, it's. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, so that's the Charge Station Pro. So it is the mobile cord is listed down here under the charging equipment. So I did miss it down here at the very bottom of the sheet under the fleet options. So that is optional equipment um, and is no longer standard equipment anymore. So that is available. Uh, maybe they felt like some people aren't going to ever use it. Maybe. I don't know. And uh, so... I mean, you raise the price of seven thousand. What's another five hundred for the mobile charger? But anyway, um, so that is optional on the three eleven or the three twelve A. That's where that's located. It's under the charge equipment's up there. Now let's move down to your exterior options. The first one to talk about is an optional wheel or tire, I should say. So if you go to the uh, your all terrain tires are standard on the three eleven A. But if you go to the 312A, you go to an all-season tire. So uh, if I click on that one, it'll actually ask me to add that on there. Say yes. You'll notice it goes to an all-season tire. But if we want to add the all-terrain tire, click on that. It's $150 to go to all-terrain. So that is an option on the 312A, not on 311 because the 311 already comes with the all-terrain tires. Just so you know that, we're going to pop back over here to that so we can see these options pop up so there you go so moving on down i want to make sure i cover that uh, something that's not going to be listed on here is the front license plate bracket and states that require front license plate it is standard equipment states like kansas it is not required so we'd have to add as an optional equipment it's a no charge option the dealer would install it free of charge 
But if you know you want one on there, or maybe if you're like if you're dealing with us where we don't require it, we have to add as a standalone option. You want to make sure you let us know you live in a state that requires a front tag, so we can make sure we order it for your vehicle. Now, right up here we have the bed divider. You can actually see an image of that. What that looks like. So that bed divider is uh, it's optional and available. It is listed under a dealer installed option, so it will be sent to the dealership ahead of time. The dealership would put it in your truck. And this here, the bed divider is not available with your pickup box or your um, your tunnel covers, I should. So hard tunnel cover and the hard retractable tunnel covers are not available. Not available with your bed mats or your uh, pivot storage box, uh, which we'll talk about here in just a little bit. So, and you can see the divider it uses those box link systems for that right there. And actually, these will tell you. Just so you know, right there, it says a dealer installed option, which means it says ship separately from the vehicle for dealer installation. So you kind of know that. And that is something you can get that through Ford Accessor if you want to. Um, I haven't seen too much of that holding up builds, but I mean, it's it's easy. You can install it yourself, to be honest. Uh, and then you have these uh, pickup box uh, covers here. So these toolboxes, you have a couple different series. You have a premium and an aluminum. Um, not sure they look about the same in the pictures, but um, so you put those on. They're not available with your drop-in bed liners and uh, the hard the hard plastic ones and not available. It mentions stowable ramps. Um, anyway, it says XLT only, but there you go. You can't get those. Also mentioned some others uh, as well. It says it's not available with your uh, tunnel pickup box cover, hard, soft, or retractable and your drop-in liners so keep that in mind um they are mentioning a couple others uh on these and i'm going to start checking these off while we go through these so make sure we cover everything all right and then so you got a couple different options there it looks like they're priced the same in the past the premium was more expensive uh so i'm not sure if that's accurate or not but suppose it should be um your tailgate step uh, that is again we mentioned it as part of that 312a but if you on the 311a want to add this it's 4:30, and you can kind of see an image of that because we weren't able to see an image of that earlier. So there you go. It is optional, uh, included in the 312A, but optional on the 311A if you want to add that for you. Also should include the work surface. Yeah, so it mentions that up there. It includes now that's a factory installed option. You'd want to get that done at the factory um, if you decide to get that um, on your vehicle. Moving on down, we do have the tailgate lock by uh, McGuard. Now that is available on the 311A, but not the 312A because the 312 gets the power up and down tailgate. Um, and so that can't be removed. The tailgate can't be removed on those. Uh, so this just locks the tailgate in. So if you have the tailgate down, then people can't take it if you put this on your vehicle. Uh, so again, that's a dealer installed option uh, that the dealer wouldn't put on the vehicle for you. I uh, don't see any other constraints and only available on the 311A for that. Your drop-in liner. So you can kind of see you know, how good that image is there. you go. Drop-in liner available on the 3, um, it says available on 3 XLT 312A. Uh, let me look here in my notes. Um, yep, it's not available on the 311A for some reason. Not sure. <laughs> not sure why. Uh, I wouldn't see a reason for that, but it's not available on that. It's only available on the 312A. So there you go. And you do have the spray and bed liner, which is available on both the 311A and the 312A. Um, if I were you, this is something that's been holding up a lot of orders this past year. I would leave it off of your order and have your dealership do a spray and liner for you. Uh, my dealership did it for the exact same cost. So um, they, they match that cost and no other added fee. So you know, talk to your dealer, see if they can do that for you. You do have this uh, bed mat. So, um, by the way, that spring liner is shown as an uh, the accessory along with the bed one, the the plastic drop-in bed liner. Uh, those are done at the at Ford, not at the dealer. So just keep that in mind. Now, this in here is a removable bed mat. You can kind of see that there. It's a pretty nice little mat. Um, that is listed at, in here as an a, as a dealer installed option. So we ship to the dealership ahead of time. Now, keep in mind this is not available with your drop in liner. If you have a 312A, not available with your tonneau cover, uh, hard retracting or hard trifold, not available with your bed divider or your bed tray. So um, the bed divider, you know, probably because there's not enough room in there to be able to get us secured down in. Uh, and that's why you can't get it with that. And I'm not sure on the tonneau covers because. It's on the floor, the not on the rails. So I'm not sure on that one there. Uh, so that is, again, something you can get through Ford Accessories and just throw it in your vehicle yourself. Pretty easy install there. 
Uh, you do have this in here, this camera, this customer placed trailer camera system. So you can place a camera on the back of your trailer. So when you're backing up, you can see behind your trailer, uh, which is real nice. So that is available for you. Um, that is listed. Find that real quick. Oh, here it is. That is a dealer installed option. Uh, the dealer, actually the dealer would give it to you and it would be shipped to the dealership ahead of time. And that is available on the 312 or 311A for you. Uh, moving on down, and this does say or earlier, we, I, I couldn't remember if it was just a power release. It is a power up and down tailgate when you go to the 312A. So just wanted to clarify that for you there. The storage box, the right-handed pivot, uh, by undercover it doesn't show an image of that but it does rotate into the side of the bed and then you pull a little uh, lever and it can swing out so you can put things in there it's just a smaller little toolbox um, that is available right side only uh, for you and uh, that is a, a dealer installed option so the dealer would install that for you not available with your bed divider or your tonneau cover uh, with the hard or retractable now you notice on all these it's not talking about the soft trifold so it seems like the tr soft trifold is uh, compatible with the others but not the hard trifold i think the hard trifold and the your retractables actually sit more level in that space whereas the hard with the soft trifold kind of sits up on top of the bed rails more uh, maybe and that's why uh, i'm not sure um you do have the bed tray and actually it's showing an image on this um that looks like the bed mat to me, so I'm not sure. I thought the bed tray was maybe more of a tray-like, where it came up onto the sides a little bit, uh, so it doesn't slide around as easily. Uh, you'll notice this one does say it's not available with the drop-in liner, or the spraying liner, or a bed mat, or the pivot pickup box. Uh, so I keep that in mind there. And that, um, the tray is available on the 311 or 312A. And according to the order guide, it's not available with your bed liners or bed mat or pivot box um yep same same thing says there so it's the same instance there and that is a dealer installed option as well right there all right a um, couple different cargo nets uh that is actually showing one here uh this in here is maybe mainly for the 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 front area um so that's pretty nice you can have this little that's a more vertical one uh you can put that in there use those hooks and the tie downs in there position those in there uh, so that's more in the front area so that is available on either one of the two uh, whether it be the 311 or 312a and that also is um, listed as a dealer installed option um, along with the horizontal one so basically it'll come to the dealership and the dealership will give it to you and the horizontal one is going to go really it's going to use the tie downs in the back of the bed uh, so that you can put things underneath it and you can put the cargo put that net over it so that way they won't fly out of the bed pretty cool uh, so you have those a couple different wheel locking kits uh, as well if you want to protect those wheel those nice wheels so you have one that's called a hidden lug and that is available on either the 311 or 312 that's a dealer installed option along with the other option here the exposed one looks like this and uh, that one there is also available on a 311 or 312 and the dealership would install those for you so again ship to the dealership ahead of time there 9.6 uh, kilowatt pro power on board is an option on the 312a or three i'm sorry the 311a it's included in 312a if you want the 311a and you want that extra uh, outlets in the back of the bed uh, don't want to go extended range don't want the rest of that 312a package you can add this as a standalone option you will want to get that from the factory that is a factory installed option for you uh, so you want to make sure you do that as well now let's just go ahead and keep going let's keep rolling go down to the interior options here as we move down, first aid kit with the Ford logo that is available for you on the 311 or 312A. That is a uh, listed as a dealer installed option, um, but basically they're just going to put all that stuff into the bag for you and put it in your vehicle. Uh, that's uh, how that works. Floor liners is something that will be put. It's normally listed under accessories, but it's not under accessories uh, for the F1 for this. Um, but those you can get with or without the carpeted mats and the floor liners they'll be put in your truck upon leaving the factory for you um, and so you don't have to get those from you know when you order it those are real easy to get through ford accessories and put them in yourself that's what i did um, you know you can get those after you get your vehicle or you can order them before your vehicle comes in once it gets uh, once you get a notification that's being built then you can ask for it uh, you can order it from the factory have it sitting in your garage and as soon as it comes in put them in there um let's see what else um partitioned uh it does mention it here and it's not showing a cost partitioned lockable 
fold flat storage. That is available. There's a good image on that one. Um, so that's pretty nice. It folds open, allows you to put stuff underneath and then and, and shut that. Uh, so that is available on the 312A, not available on the 311A. Probably the reason if we click on this, it'll tell us to go to 312A. There you go. It tells you to go to 312A. So it'll actually show us the price. So let's go to 312A. Now, okay, now it's showing a price of 225 just so you have an idea of what that cost. We'll go ahead and remove it um, for you there. So that's not available on the 311A. It requires a 312A for that package, for that equipment there. Um, and then this console vault is also something that is also a dealer installed option. Ship to the dealership ahead of time. The dealership would install that. And I believe looking at that one, it actually goes, I think, under the seat. Uh, it actually looks like, or maybe they just in console. It does say console vault. Um, well, it says it's by console vault. So uh, normally that would be for the console area. So you do have a big console and you can put it in there and it helps you lock that up, conceal things in there, you know, firearms, something like that. Or uh, you just want to make sure somebody cannot get to something. If they do break the glass, get into your vehicle, they definitely don't want it. That will help out and protect it there. So uh, make sure we've got everything covered. All right. So I've got everything covered that's showing on here. The three things that are not showing on here we've talked about many times, and that's the tonneau covers. That is not listed on the Build and Price website, but they are available to get from there. And I don't think they're listed. Maybe they're they're not listed under accessories. Sometimes I'll have an extra accessory section. There's not. So uh, both all these are available in the 311 or 312A. They are listed under Ford accessories, so they will be put on the at the factory. And they will hold up your build. I'm telling you that right now. Keep that in mind. It will hold up your build if you get any of these bed covers. So there is a hard folding bed cover. It's a trifold bed cover by WeatherGuard. There's a soft folding trifold bed cover by WeatherGuard. And there's a retractable aluminum bed cover by WeatherGuard. Now, it says retractable. I have a roll-up one. So, but it is saying it's a retractable one. Um, and it does say on all of those that are not available with the plastic um, liners, the drop-in liners, and it's not available with any of those, but it doesn't mention anything else. But we already talked about that it, you can't get that with certain other features as we've been talking about this. Uh, so just so you have that in mind, I would get that afterwards. It can be installed even if you have the dead dividers, you have some of those other things. It can be installed in the vehicle. Um, it's just sometimes when you have that toolbox there, then they can't install it. Well, if you didn't have the toolbox, you installed the bed cover first. Then you could put it in there, but and if you do that from afterwards uh, through your uh, local dealer, then you can have that added. So I would get your your pickup your tonneau covers later if I were you. Just a little bit a tidbit of information from what I've seen on uh, what's holding vehicle orders up is those tonneau covers. There you go. That's our complete guide video that covered all the standard equipment, a couple different packages, how you can get an extended range battery, and all the different standalone options, and those other two packages we talked about too. So those uh, should cover everything in this video. So hopefully you did a like, uh, like it and you enjoyed it. So if you have a reservation and you're waiting to get that invite in to be able to, to switch those over, and for some of you that extended because the XLT was sold out, here pretty soon and just about a week you're going to be able to get your invite when you extended yours from last for 22 so you're going to be able to put in your xlt order so hopefully this video helps you out explain some things for you of, of what's available and such uh on these on the xlt trim and uh, so it's very valuable we're going to be doing one on the laria and the platinum trim as well here pretty soon uh this uh, next week so you should be seeing those go live uh soon uh so be looking for those uh, but hopefully you did enjoy this video and it helps you out uh and uh, don't forget uh, you can of course uh, if you did like this video smash that like button i'd really appreciate it and also don't forget if you if you want to if you're not subscribed to the channel yet hit that red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe over the channel and hit that notification bell so that way you can stay notified next time another video upload to our youtube channel now if you're out there and you have a reservation in with your local dealer uh if you're struggling with your local dealer at, at all we've had some people that have asked hey will you take a a transfer reservation in? we will do that we are doing msrp pricing with a 500 dollars dealer fee so if you find out your dealership is going to raise that price over MSRP, uh, we're here to help you out. Uh, you can transfer over. You can just call 1-800-334-4375. Uh, I believe that's the correct number. And that'll get you over to uh, Ford Customer Care, and they can switch your reservation over to Law MacArthur if you'd like to. Uh, so you don't need to call us necessarily ahead of time. If you want to transfer in, go, go right ahead, and we'll do that. Uh, keep in mind, too, if you do have an invite to order, and then find out your dealer is marking it up or something like that. You want to switch. 
you can switch your a reservation or your invite over to another dealer but you cannot once you've ordered that order is with that dealer that order cannot be transferred to another dealer without a lot of help by ford <laughs> so keep that in mind so if you're out there and you have maybe you have you know an extended reservation and then find out while you've been waiting that you want to go with a different deal or you want to go with us or something uh, just keep that in mind you can wait till you get that invite and then once you get that invite you can transfer that over and then that would go over and use one of our allocations for that so uh and you can do that pretty easily and it doesn't uh, have a problem we've actually had three people last year that transferred over we were supposed to get two allocations we ended up having five because people did transfer over and basically the allocation from that dealer went with your invite so just keep that in mind that can be done and uh, you can uh, contact us if you have any other questions about that and again uh, we are honoring msrp pricing all that we know about price protection so we'll price protect your vehicle as well uh no uh, markups uh worked on my vehicle uh the D, D destination delivery went up a hundred dollars on me price protected everything also any rates that are available when you order the vehicle and you get locked in if they're better when they come in you can pick which one you want to go uh, we know how to work all that as well so again thanks uh, for watching this video hope you enjoyed it hopefully it was informative and helpful for you don't forget you can find us on social media we're at law macarthur on facebook twitter and instagram as well as you can find all of my different places you can connect with me on social media on my linktree account so you can see it right there just click on that and it shows all the different places and links just click on those different places on your favorite social media platforms and you can connect with me that way too uh, and different places you can find my youtube videos out there on youtube so uh, most of them right here but you can find some other places too there so again thanks for watching this video hope you liked it and until the next one we'll see you later